This short video was put together in conjunction with Common Ground University's Property Condition Assessment 101 course. Hi, my name is Jack Huntress, current head of eLearning at Environmental Data Resources. Over the course of the last year, nearly 30 professionals from across the industry came together to develop a how-to course for property condition assessments. It should be noted that ASTM also offers a course on the ASTM E 2018 Standard Guide. Participants are encouraged to attend the ASTM course to learn more about this important standard guide. This video was developed to explain the basics of why PCAs are performed, what they are, and the value they provide as a precursor to the PCA 101 course offered by Common Ground University. Here are the primary reasons for performing PCAs. Over the last 20 years, a substantial majority of PCAs have been done as part of the loan underwriting process. Lenders and investors wanted to make sure that the cost to maintain the property would not put the loan at risk. This would be called debt side due diligence. Another significant reason for ordering a PCA would be for the situation where someone was purchasing a property and would want to know the major issues or costs they would incur if buying the property so that they could use the information for negotiating the purchase price. This is similar to a homeowner doing a home inspection. This is called equity side due diligence. It is important to note that debt and equity PCAs vary dramatically in scope or detail and cost. These differences should be understood by the provider and the requestor. Lastly, PCAs can be done as part of financial or strategic planning by current property owners. A detailed form of a PCA done for these purposes is called a facility condition assessment. The purpose of the PCA is to identify physical deficiencies with the subject property. There is an ASTM standard guide that offers baseline guidance on what should be reviewed during the PCA process. To systematically evaluate the deficiencies that may exist on a property, a number of areas are evaluated. For the building site, drainage, retaining walls, and paving, curbing, and parking are evaluated. For the building envelope, the exterior walls and windows are examined. The structural foundation and framing is also considered. For interior elements, the units, rooms, common areas, and other interior features are examined. The roof is assessed. The HVAC system is reviewed. Plumbing is examined, as well as electrical. If a building has elevators, escalators, or moving walkways, they are assessed. Lastly, a PCA professional would examine code compliance, safety, accessibility, air quality, and other considerations. The product of a PCA is called a Property Condition Report, or PCR. The major components of the report include a description of the property, system-by-system -system identification of issues, recommendations of replacements or repairs, cost tables to summarize the findings, supporting photographs, and files or documents that may be relevant to the assessment. Here is an example of one section from a PCR. The narrative was often split into three parts where the system is described, assessed, and then a recommendation is given. Some consultants include photos directly in the report. Others include them as well at the end of the report. Some consultants also include the cost directly in the report as well as cost tables as we'll see in a moment. Other sections discussing the roof, HVAC systems, elevators, and other systems would be structured similarly. A fundamental component of most PCAs is the cost table or the cost reserve table. Effectively, this is a summary of the entire report, where the consultant summarizes all of the issues they found, the costs associated with those issues, and the year they believe that work will need to be completed to maintain the property's value and to keep the property operating properly. For each item identified, the assessor will name it, put down the expected useful life or how long it would be expected to last, then they offer their assessment of the effective age or how old it really is based on wear and tear and give the remaining useful life. Then they offer costs to do that replacement or repair and specify the year they anticipate that work will be done. 
In a way, the entire report summarizes down to the number at the bottom of the table that boils the cost down to a per unit or per square foot basis, depending on the property type. Additionally, a number of considerations may be added to the report depending on the nature of the property and the need of the client. Here are the 23 modules that are included as part of the six-week course. You are able to complete the material on your own schedule with the guidance of a facilitator through online forums. For more information, please visit the Common Ground website.